guys, I'm John. And today we're at the Mishimoto Garage to install the Mishimoto Direct Fit Oil Cooler Kit for the 2015 Plus Subaru WRX. And whether you've purchased the non-thermostatic or thermostatic version of this kit, we're gonna be covering both during this install. And while you're at it, check out the Mishimoto Direct Fit Baffled Oil Catch Can System. Tools needed for install include 10 millimeter deep socket, quarter drive six inch extension, quarter drive ratchet, 12 millimeter deep socket, three eighths drive three inch extension, three eighths drive ratchet, 10 millimeter wrench, 24 millimeter deep socket, half inch drive, flathead screwdriver, pop clip pliers, needle nose pliers, oil filter removal tool, 24 millimeter wrench, 27 millimeter wrench, a torque wrench, aluminum 10AN wrench, and Subaru oil. Install time is just under two hours, and install difficulty is a three out of five. To start, remove the stock air intake duct. There are two pot clips holding it in place. To make removing the front bumper a little easier, lift your WRX up with a lift or with jack stands. Remove the eight pop clips from the bottom of the front bumper. Next, remove the two pop clips that hold the front bumper to the fender liner on either side. Now, remove the six 10 millimeter bolts on top of the front bumper. Remove the remaining three pot clips on top of the front bumper. Carefully unclip your front bumper cover and pull outward about 10 inches, ensuring that the fog light connections are not damaged. Next, disconnect the fog lights. Now you're ready to completely remove your front bumper cover. You might need a friend to help you out. We already have the Mishimoto Direct Fit Baffled Oil Catch Can system installed, so we're going to detach the hose leading to the catch can using a flathead screwdriver. Place the hose out of the way and make sure not to lose the worm gear clamp. Remove the oil filter. You might need an oil filter wrench to help remove the filter. Using needle nose pliers, remove the two hoses entering your stock oil heater warmer. Some excess coolant might leak out from the cooling system. Disconnect the oil pressure sensor. Remove the center 24 millimeter bolt from the oil filter housing. Next, remove the stock oil cooler unit. Keep the area around the oil filter free from any coolant that leaks from the stock oil cooler. Clean any dirt, oil, or residual coolant from the area around the oil filter before installing the Mishimoto spacer and sandwich plate. Next, apply a light coat of oil around the rings of the Mishimoto supplied spacer and thermostatic sandwich plate. Install the supplied 24 mm center bolt, but do not fully tighten yet. Install the Mishimoto supplied silicone hose on each coolant port using the two stock spring clips. This will bypass the stock coolant lines that previously circulated into the stock oil cooler. Attach the two Mishimoto banjo bolts to the sandwich plate, but do not fully tighten these either. Now we're ready to reinstall the oil filter. Make sure to lube the oil filter o-ring with engine oil before you hand tighten it. Apply a light coat of oil on the sandwich plate o-ring. Clean any dirt or residual oil from the area around the oil filter, which must be cleaned before the Mishimoto sandwich plate is installed. Place the sandwich plate on top of the stock oil cooler. This setup will allow continued use of the stock oil cooler. Fasten the sandwich plate to the oil cooler using the supplied center bolt, but do not fully tighten at this time. Attach the two Mishimoto banjo bolts to the sandwich plate, but do not fully tighten these either. Route the supplied braided stainless steel lines underneath the oil filter housing, underneath the headlight, and around the body to the front of your WRX. Next, 
Attach the straight fitting ends of the braided hoses to the banjo bolts. With the hoses, banjo bolts, and sandwich plate properly positioned, start tightening all the fittings. Begin with the banjo bolts and end with the center bolt. Torque the center bolt to 30 to 35 foot-pounds, and make sure to use an aluminum AN wrench for your Dash 10 AN fittings. Now we're ready to reinstall the oil filter. Make sure to lube the oil filter o-ring with engine oil before you hand tighten it. Here, we need to make sure we reinstall the catch can hose before we proceed. Loosen these three 12 millimeter bolts on the front of your WRX. This is where we're gonna attach our oil cooler brackets. To prep the oil cooler, fill it with oil. Using the four provided 10 millimeter nuts and bolts, attach the mounting brackets to the oil cooler and tighten them down. Once the brackets are tightened, you can route the braided oil lines next to the front crash bar and attach them to your oil cooler. Fully tighten the fittings with your aluminum 10 AN wrench. Tuck the oil cooler behind the front crash bar. The top bracket will clip into the side of the front support. The bottom bracket bolts to the bottom holes of the vertical support. Reconnect the fog lights in the front bumper to their harnesses. Reinstall your front bumper cover. You might need a friend to help you out. The bumper cover will snap into place by the headlights. Reinstall the remaining three pop clips on top of the front bumper. Next, reinstall the six 10 millimeter bolts on top of your front bumper. Reinstall the two pop clips that hold the front bumper to the fender lining on either side. Reinstall the eight pop clips from the bottom of the front bumper. Reinstall the engine cover using the two pop clips. Next, Reinstall your air intake duct. Use the two pop clips you removed earlier. Now that you've installed your new Mishimoto Direct Fit Oil Cooler Kit, you're going to want to double check that all your connections are tight, start your car up and check for any leaks, and then take your car for a test drive. Enjoy your new Mishimoto Direct Fit Oil Cooler Kit.